Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about the power of a government. Now what is power? Power is basically the work done at the sleeve for any given change of speed and we know the formula of power is effort into displacement. Now in another video we have already discussed that effort for any governor is the mean force which acts on it for any given change in speed. Now power is what? It is effort into twice the height of the governor. Now what is effort? It is the mean force acting on the sleeve while raising or lowering it for some change in the speed. That means if initially the governor is at some mean position, is at some position let's say H and from taking it from that position H to H1 some force is being applied which is denoted by capital E. Once the governor has reached that equilibrium position the application of force stops and it becomes zero. So the mean force becomes E plus 0 by 2 which is E by 2 into the displacement of the sleeve and displacement of sleeve is from this point BC to whatever is the position depending upon the movement of the balls. Therefore the displacement of sleeve is twice the height of governor. Now because these two are the common factors we get cancel we can cancel them so power will be E into height of the governor. Now let's take the case of a porter governor and we are assuming that the governor is going from some initial height h to h1 and while doing so the speed is increasing. The speed is increasing from some value which is omega to some new value which is 1 plus c into omega. So in questions whenever you are given the change in speed it is in terms of percentage let's say 6% change from the equilibrium or the mean speed so it becomes 1 plus 0 0.06 or if say it decreases so it will be 1 minus 0 0.06 into omega. So now in case of a porter governor we know the height of the governor we know the formula it is 2 mass of the balls plus mass of the sleeve into g 1 plus k. So k is if this angle is assumed to be beta so k is 10 beta upon 10 theta upon 2m omega square. Now when it is moving fro from position h from some height h to h1. So there is change in speed. Now it becomes 1 plus c whole square into omega square. Now if we divide these two equations h1 upon h2. All the other factors being common they get cancelled out. And we get 1 upon 1 plus c whole square. Now what is the displacement? Displacement is the change in height which is h minus h1. So in this equation if we take h common it becomes 1 minus h1 upon h. Right and what is h1 upon h? It is this factor 1 upon 1 plus c whole square. So if we expand this equation a plus b whole square it is a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now c being a very small factor so a c square will be again a very a smaller factor which can be ignored therefore the equation becomes we'll ignore this factor c square so equation becomes h 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus 2c so if we take the lcm 1 gets cancelled out so we are left with h into 2c upon 1 plus 2c so the power becomes e or the effort of the governor which is m plus m into cg into h displacement which is h into 2c upon 1 plus 2c so this is the power that is mass of ball plus mass of sleeve into g into height of the governor into 4c square upon upon 1 plus 2c where c is the change in the speed the factor with which the speed is changing and for Hartnell governor again it is power is effort into displacement and effort is what e upon 2 which is C the change in speed into mg plus fs where fssb is the spring force. Thank you.